All right, today we've got the Inkbird ITC 308. It's a temperature controller. Um, in case you're wondering what a temperature controller is, it's just something to automate temperature. Uh, kind of like a thermostat. So we're just gonna jump in and open it up here. See what all's inside. So I've got two versions of this actually. I've got a European version. Uh, it comes with directions, uh, cardboard, and then the device. So this is the uh, European version. So it's got two plugs. Uh, it's got one for heating, one for cooling. And you've got your device here. You've got a set button, up, down, and yeah. So basically you can use this for barbecuing, you can use this for plant germination, you can use this in our case for uh, keeping a turtle's enclosure or tortoise's enclosure maintained at the proper temperature via, well, if you have an aquarium heater then usually what happens is it has a regulating thermostat on it, however you could have this as an additional. Or you can use this in a basking platform type setup or wherever the tortoise is going to, to bask. So you can control the temperature that way with the lighting. Um, showed you the plugs. Uh, it's also got, you know, a, it's kind of maybe difficult to see here wrapped up. Got a little thermostat probe or temperature probe. Um, there's another version of this, the ITC 308S, which has a slightly different probe that is also removable but it's made specifically for aquariums, has a little suction cup on it, you can stick it on the tank. Um, this will work as well, um, just depends on the, the application you wanna put it on. So next up, we're gonna plug it in here and do a little demo of it. All right, so I've gotten out the, the US version for the rest of this test here. Uh, most of the people watching this are gonna be using the US version. In case you're wondering, it does work on 100 to 240. Uh, you've got it back here on the back of the device. It's also in the box. It's also in the directions. Um, anyway, so here's the device. It's plugged in. Uh, by default, it's going to come in Celsius. Even the, the US version will come in Celsius. So we're going to go through and first off, we're going to change that because most of you will want Fahrenheit. To, so to do that, uh, you're going to hold the set button for three seconds and you'll have a flashing light. So SV is set value and PV is process value. So process value just means uh, that's the room temperature and set value means that's the temperature you want the device to kick off on. So first we're gonna, whoop, we're gonna jump through here to the screen and here CF, uh, you'll see a C, so you just push up and that will set it to Fahrenheit. And if you hold set again for three seconds, that will change it again. So <clears throat> you can say the process value currently in the room here, it's uh, almost 83 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty warm. Uh, I won't lie, I'm a, I'm a little bit warm. Uh, and the set value is 77 degrees. So right now it's saying, it's activating the cooling plug. Now here again on this one, you have cooling and you have heating. So if you have two different devices, you know, if you, I don't know if you have a fan or uh, maybe a chiller, an aquarium chiller or something like that, you need to cool it down. It will turn on this plug. And then if the water gets too cold or, um, you know, the air temperature gets too cold, then it will kick on the other plug. Now those settings, they're triggered uh, by the degree change. So like I said, our, our current temperature is set to 77 degrees and we're in the cooling. Um, to demonstrate that, I've got a light here. I'm just gonna grab it. I've got this uh, IKEA light. I'm gonna plug it in. Normally these don't function on US voltage, but since we're using European voltage. Uh, well, see, I plugged it into the wrong, wrong one. So this is a good de demonstration. So you can see it's plugged into the heating uh, and we've got cooling activated. So that's not gonna work now. If I unplug it here and move it over, you can see I've plugged it in and the light is turned on. So now if we want to change the set value to change to the heating, we would just turn it up to 83 degrees. So I'm going to hold the set button. I'm going to go through, by default it goes to the set value here, it'll be flashing. So we're going to go set that up. 
we're just gonna set that to 83. You know what, we'll set it to 84 just to be safe. And when I hold set, it will reset. So now you see it's turned off. Uh, it's not heating either, and it's not cooling currently. And that's because there's a variation that you'll wanna, you'll wanna change. So usually the factory default, it's three degrees variation either way. Meaning when it hits here, in this case, it's, it's hit our set value is 84 degrees. We're at 82 degrees. So in order for anything to happen, it needs to change by more than three degrees. Now to change that again, we're just gonna hold the set value. Here's our, uh, I'm sorry, the set button. Then here's our set value at 84. Uh, we're just gonna go, here's the heating value. So this is three degrees difference. So we're gonna just lower that down to one. And same with the, the cold, we're just gonna lower that down to one. This way, when the degree hits, this is a, this is kind of like a compressor delay. So if you have, you know, a refrigerator plugged in or something in a refrigerator, it makes it so when things change from one de degree to the next, it doesn't just kick on and kick off, kick on and kick off every, every so often. So, oh, I forgot to hold the set value there. Let me just double check. Set, yeah, see it defaulted because I didn't hold it. So hold set to, to, to go back and to save your changes. And now you see the heating has kicked on. Now the, if I plug that in, you can see we're in heating. Well, you can't see, we're in the heating plug, the heating light is on and the light has kicked on because the room temperature is 82 degrees. Uh, so we're just gonna do one more exercise here. I'm gonna lower the set value to uh, 81 degrees. So I'm just gonna come here, I'm gonna go 81, hold it. It's gonna kick off the light. And you see it's already kicked on the cooling because now it wants, uh, wants us to cool, cool the room. Uh, well, we can demonstrate it like this. So we're not quite one degrees. Process value is 83. Let's stick the thermometer in here. It should kick on the light here. So I've got a glass of cold water. If I stick it in here, you see the water cooled down and the light kicked on immediately as it cooled off the temperature probe. So it's quite sensitive. Um, that's kind of like a, a little demonstration of the device. It works super great. There were some complaints about the, the screen not, not being easy to read. However, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's, it's a very bright screen. It's very easy to use. Um, yeah, I really like this, this temperature controller or thermostat or whatever you want to call it. it Works really well. Uh, like I said, you can use it in all, all kinds of environments. You can use it uh, for plants, for brewing, for cooking, for uh, grilling. Uh, there's a, a lot of different things you can use it for. There's also alarms on here, so you can set, you know, if, if uh, you have a specific degree range that you want something to go off in and it goes past that, it will start uh, creating a buzzer sound. Uh, that's a setting in here. It's, it's all in the directions. It's, it's quite easy to use, like I said. So definitely recommend. I would pick one up or pick two up. Uh, you know, depending on, depends on the type of setup that you have for your, your pet, your reptile. Uh, if you're using this for something else, also depends on the setup. But um, yeah, I'd highly rec recommend it.